If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. Excellent news. SpaceX Starhopper performed its full flight test late last night after many delays. This is the first test of interplanetary hopper test frame that will test Raptor engines and overall Starship concept in coming months. SpaceX has been working on a Starhopper since late last year when they unveiled Starhopper design to the world. The design has since suffered few setbacks. First, the cone of the spacecraft was blown away by an expected storm in early January, delaying any potential flight test by weeks if not even a month. Repairs on a Starship, which took some time, gave Starhopper a new look. However, the new look is only temporary. A new cone will be attached to the Starhopper within the next few weeks. The Starhopper starts high altitude tests that will require aerodynamic efficiency and stability. So what happened last night, you might wonder? Elon Musk clarified the last night test was the first full-scale Starship inaugural hop test, igniting its lone Raptor engine and straining against a trio of tethers attached to its legs. This is the first in many tests SpaceX will conduct on Starhopper. However, although this was relatively minor in the scope of SpaceX's next generation rocket program, Starhopper's successful tethered hop now paves the way towards untethered testing in which the suborbital test bed could send several minutes aloft and reach altitudes as high as 5 kilometers. The importance of this test, as stated before, clears the way for more complex flight tests that will take Starhopper to higher altitudes, up to 5,000 meters. The reason for tests at this altitude is to ensure the test frame completes all important high altitude hoovering and power descent from high altitude, as this is something Starship will require to do as it delivers its cargo and passengers here on Earth, but more importantly, in thin Martian atmosphere as well. This also marks perhaps even more significant milestone for Raptor. Completing the engine test first successful test fire as part of integrated flight vehicle. That being said, only one engine was tested. The Starhopper next major milestone will be integration of two additional Raptor engines, for a total of three, which is expected to happen in late April. For high altitude, flights are expected to commence in May, a month before the first Starship rolls out. Starhopper's first successful Raptor ignition comes after the better part of two weeks of concerted testing of the integrated prototype beginning around March 18th. The testing included five wet dress rehearsals, or WDRs, what involved loading the vehicle with significant quantity of liquid methane and oxygen propellant, verifying the performance of avionics and plumbing, and ultimately attempting to ignite Raptor. If all proceeds normally, it is possible that SpaceX could begin unheaded hop test in the next few weeks. Regardless, this makes an excellent step forward for the company's next generation Starship Super Heavy spaceship. All data gathered in this phase will help to optimize and improve the final design of the first orbital vehicle.